Hey everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a customized optimization equipment uh, thingy. I have no idea what to call it. Um, in a nutshell, the way the optimize works in RPG Maker is it'll take all the stats of an item, choose the highest of those items, and then slap it on that character. Um, generally speaking, uh, if you're gear has high MP or high HP on it, it's always going to prioritize those pieces regardless if that piece is the best for that character or not. In my game in particular, my character is going to equip any type of gear. So the, uh, the casters can equip cloth, uh, leather, or plate. Um, so Optimize is always skewing over like putting the plate on them, which is not always their best choice. I'm going to show you here, for example, Damien, who is my healer, he actually prioritizes um, using the uh, magic defense stat and the magic attack stat and MP, but optimize is always going to slap on the highest HP gear. So when I press optimize here, you're going to see he's going to get a bunch of plate. It's so like plate, plate, uh, some class. So that was good in that case. Um, but generally speaking, these two pieces aren't his priority because they're very high in defense, HP, but low in MP and magic attack. And then, um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm trying to fix here. So this is how you fix it. Let's go ahead and exit that. So you're going to open up your project folder. And then you're going to click on JS and find the RPG objects. I highly, highly, highly suggest that you make a copy of this before you edit it. Because if you break something, you're going to want a copy to replace it. So you've been warned. Um, you're going to want to right click it and open uh, you can edit it however you want whatever program you use I'm ghetto and cheap so I use notepad because it's free so bam I'm opening that um, I'm using MV version 1.51 yeah flies desktop optimized blah 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 so anyways long story short you're gonna do control F and you're gonna optimize do a search for optimize in my case, it's the first optimizer that shows up, but if you press it again, it should take you to the only other time optimize shows up in this file. So this is the correct area here. Uh, for reference, anyone who's using an actual real JavaScript editor tool, that's lines, uh, JavaScript lines 3730 through 3734 is what you're looking for. So we're gonna scroll down a little bit until you find this section here. Game actor, prototype, blah, 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 so on and so forth. There's going to be this little function here. This is what we're editing. Um, to be better safe than sorry, instead of outright deleting this code, we're going to comment it out. This is how you comment code out in JavaScript. You do two forward slashes. So what that does is it tells the program not to read this code anymore. It just ignores it. And we're going to put in our own code instead. So because I want to... Um, Customize the way optimize works for each of my actors to prioritize the stats that are best for them I'm gonna have to track who is being optimized So the way I do that is I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call it who So variable who Equals and I already forgot the syntax, but I wrote it here This actor ID So what this is doing is it's pulling the actor ID that's being optimized and adding it to this variable. So now whenever I call who, it's going to know which actor I'm talking about. Okay, you're going to want to close this off with a semicolon, enter, and then make a new line. So this part can be um, a little tricky, so hopefully you can keep up. This next code is going to check to see who is the actor that's being optimized. So I'm going to say if who equals one and run this following code within this next set of brackets so you always want to open the code and then close the code so this is checking actor id if actor id equals one run this code now what you're going to need to do is copy here up to this part return item params just to that point and paste it now params here is in reference to the parameters um, the parameters run 0 through 7. So I'm going to actually add them here for reference for you. So parameters, uh, yeah, okay. So 0 equals HP, 
1 equals MP, 2 equals attack, 3 equals defense, 4 equals uh, magic attack, whoops, magic attack, 5 equals magic defense, 6 equals agility, and 7 equals luck. So this is just for reference, you can quickly look over to see, okay, which parameter am I referencing here? So, in my game, actor ID 1 is Luna. She's my Huntress character. Luna highly, highly favors the agility stat and the attack stat in terms of gear. So when I optimize with her, it'll just slap on whatever has the highest stats on it, um, whether or not it has the highest agility or attack. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do here, when actor 1 is being optimized it's going to look for the items with the highest attack which is parameter 2 so I'm going to do a whatever that's called 2 and then close it it's also going to look for the item with the highest agility so I'm going to copy paste this little item params again and then add parameter 6 I'm going to close that off so now it's done. Now whenever I do optimize with Actor 1, who is Luna my Huntress, it's going to look for the items with the highest attack and the highest agility on it. You're going to want to do this for each of your actors. I have five, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy it five times. So actor ID 2, change to Actor ID 3, Actor ID 4, and Actor ID 5. Actor ID 2, I did not mean to click on iTunes, go away. Actor ID 2 is Damien, my healer. He prioritizes stats like Magic Attack, um, Magic Defense, which has been renamed Spirit in my game, and things like MP. So to keep uh, the tutorial simple, I'm going to just do... We'll do uh, Magic Defense, so that's parameter 5. And we're going to do MP for him. So now when he optimizes gear, it's going to put on the pieces with the highest spirit, or sorry, highest magic defense and the highest MP. Actor 3 is Ryudo, who is my uh, melee warrior tank character. So he really likes the attack stat and defense stat. So attack is parameter 2, as you see here. So I'm keeping that the same. And defense is parameter 3. So I'm going to change this to 3. So now when he equips items, it's going to prioritize attack and defense. My last two are damage spellcasters. Uh, actor ID 4, her name is Minerva. She's a damage dealer with magic, so she's going to prioritize the magic attack stat. And for her, uh, just for comparison's sake, we'll say she also prioritizes agility. So 4 and 6. And for my last character, Trish, she's also a spellcaster. Um, I'm going to make her prioritize magic attack and magic defense. She does have some like healing abilities to heal mana and stuff, so her raising her magic defense, aka spirit in my game, is useful for her. So after you've done those edits here, you're going to save. And now we're going to test it out. Now I'm expecting this to not work perfectly yet. Lower the phone in there. Okay. So now when I equip pieces on Luna, she on quote should equip mostly leather pieces because leather has high agility. But because in her code I put to look for attack and agility. Plate pieces have high attack on them, so chances are she's going to get a mix of plate and leather here, um, which isn't 100% ideal for what I'm looking for, but I'm going to do it just so you can see an example. And as you can see, yeah, she put on a plate piece, but if we look through the actual gear that she has in the inventory, there's a lot of pieces with pretty high agility. Um, for her, agility is much more useful in terms of her damage output than attack is, so... How do we fix that? How do I make it so that it prioritizes agility over attack even though both are in her formula? Well, like so. We're going to just take a little snapshot of what her stats are in the current gear that she's wearing. So let's take a look here. Her attack is 203. Her defense is 228. And then we'll look at her agility. 
which is 246. Okay, this is with the current setup I have um, in my little edits here. So I'm going to close that out. Now, although she does really uh, benefit from using attack and agility, I want her agility stat to be weighed more than her attack stat. That way she always prioritizes the agility over the attack. So there's a couple of different ways to do that. For one, you can actually just go in and uh, multiply the stat that you want to be worth more by a certain number. So for me, if I want her agility to be worth 1.5 times as much as an attack stat, then I will change it here. So I would multiply parameter 6 by 1.5. Um, so let's just go ahead and save and see what happens. Let's open up the test. So now everything worked correctly. She should now put on a different set of uh, gear that's going to have more agility on it, but less attack. And then I wrote down the stats from the previous set she had so that way we can compare. So optimize. I can already see she has more leather on. So let's look at the stats. So her attack went from 203 down to 133. Her defense went from 228 to 225, so not too much of a difference there. But her agility went from 246 to 312. So the code specifically looked for higher agility items and made sure to equip those to her. So now this is the exact um, exact way that I want my e uh, optimized to work for this character. Um, We'll do another quick little test. We'll look at Damien. So I'm going to optimize his gear and I'm going to do a quick little snapshot of the stats. So the important stats for him are Magic Attack, which is at 192. Spirit, which is just M uh, Magic Defense. Just renamed. Uh, that's at 253. And then his MP is capped out at 999. Which screams to me that I'm wasting potential stat points giving him more MP than he can have. So let's close that out again. And then now he's actor ID 2. So here, when I put the code in, it was prioritizing magic defense, aka spirit, and then mana, or MP. So let's say I wanted to switch this to, we'll say, magic attack. So now he's going to prioritize magic attack and magic defense when I optimize him. So let's save. these pop-ups okay. let's load that file and now he should equip different pieces of gear all right we can already see a difference in the mana so let's take a look now that he's prioritizing magic attack over over mp his magic attack went from 192 to 253. That's a 58 point difference. That's going to be pretty noticeable in combat. His magic defense went from 253 to 309. And then his MP dropped from 999 to 914. So as you can see, editing the how much each point is worth and changing this stuff around is going to change the kind of gear that those characters um, put on. Um, so that's pretty much the basics of it. Um, I don't use classes in my game, so I'm not 100% familiar on how you would track it for classes, but I am pretty sure that there's a way to do it as well. Um, just kind of scrolling down here, you can see like this class ID. My guess would be to change class ID here and just do it like that. So if you want to reference class, so if the same actor can change classes and if they're a knight and then they become a priest and you want the priest to have different stat weights than the knight, um, you should be able to just change it like that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this uh, tutorial has been useful and helpful and yada, yada, yada. Uh, subscribe to my game, Eternal Twilight. It's, uh, best game ever. Self-plug. I'm kind of biased, but yeah, it's the, yeah, yeah. Okay, have fun, bye.